<laughs> those glasses. I actually forgot I'd equipped those. Uh, welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy, everyone. I am about to load the game. We should still be in the, yeah, Arithmancy class now. A lot of you were, were commenting in the last video about my uh, handling of that puzzle. Um, I did, I, I did, um, I did figure it out in the end, although I was a little bit confused. I didn't think one of the, the, uh, creatures would be zero, and, uh, a few of you ex have explained why that is. I just didn't remember that that's what they were, de demigeysers, which apparently we, we have seen some of those. If those are what you say they are, we have definitely seen those statues. I just don't really know what we're supposed to do with them yet. Uh, we've got a couple of doors here to figure out, which hopefully shouldn't take too long. Um, as I did suspect, it does go in order, but again, I just didn't think it would start at zero. Um, so, we should be able to do these. Uh, we need a six, uh, plus, uh, f uh, one, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, yeah, five, because there's five things on it. I still don't know why Salamander is six. Why is that? What? I, it's weird. Anyway. Uh, so, 6 and 5, 11, which leaves us with, um, well, another, uh, another 6, right? Is that, is that right? Is that correct? So that'll be another, uh, uh, it'll be the salamander, funnily enough, which is the, this one. So this should be the salamander. It is, it is quite hard to see in here. It's, it's not very well lit. I mean, it is beautifully lit, but not very well lit. And then uh, we've got that one, which is 7, plus 0 is 7. Uh, so we need a 1, which means it's the unicorn. And that should open it. Yay! We got it. We got it. What do we get, though? A Celtic uh, attire, or Celtic. I always think of um, the football team. Uh, oh, and another chest. Uh, taxidermy wall hangings. Taxidermy always creeps me out. I've never, never been into that really. Right. Also, we're still in the process of finding Zenobia's bloody gobstones, uh, although we've got three of those. Right. Where's the other door? What was the other one? Here we go. Right. So, thirteen and zero is zero. So we need a five for that one which is the weird crab thing. I do- I'm gonna have to listen to some of the soundtrack properly, because some of the music I've heard so far is really, really nice. I do miss Jeremy Soule's compositions, though, because they're just iconic. But, uh, this is very fitting. And, uh... The- okay, so that's five and six, which is... Eleven. And we need uh, a four, which means the little adorable owl-looking thing. Okay, I I was nowhere bloody near that game. You're trying to mess my mess up my my vibe, and I've just gone past it. There we go. Right, open. Nice. Uh, a millery spheres? Okay. So we seem to be getting a lot of stuff that we're going to be able to decorate our requirement room in. And, oh, a crimson clockwork scarf. So that is actually better than what we have. Um, it's a good job no one's actually having a lesson in here, by the way, because we've just wandered in. It'd be, I wonder, that would be cool if, uh, probably not, but it'd be cool if you could interrupt classrooms or, like, certain classes would be busy at certain times of day, and there'll be stuff going on. Uh, it, do it doesn't seem like there's that strict of a schedule. There is a day-night cycle, but it's not really, you know, uh, doesn't really affect too much. I'm sure there will be certain things that we can only do at certain times, but um, it would have been cool. Right, I still can't believe we've got those guys. They are legendary as well. Damn right they are. Damn right. Okay, another scarf, which... Uh, will give us three more offense. And it actually suits our uh, robe very well, so we will have that showing. Perfect. 
Um, we could, we could change, you know what, let's change the appearance of our hats. Because we have got this one. <laughs> we look so stupid. I love it. Right, let's, uh, if, honestly, any, if there's going to be any dramatic cutscenes anytime soon, completely ruined. Completely ruined. Right, let's go find some more gobstones. Because we look like, we look like a Batman villain. We look like the Riddler. Mixed with, well, I, I don't, the Mad Hatter. Uh, and, I don't know, something else. But, uh, yeah, glad I found that cheat sheet, because that did... Let me know what the heck was going on with that. Uh, and of all I'd places, yeah. On high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Up in the rafters. Glad I stumbled across that when I did. So obviously, there's there's those doors that we uh, we could have uh, we could go back to. We found a few of them, but we'll just if we come across them, we'll open them. It, it's fine. Also, when I encounter another one of those. Uh, Demi guy statues. We'll see if we can figure out anything to do with them. Although I'm guessing we're probably just lacking the right spells for a lot of this stuff, which makes me want to progress the story a bit. Um, especially if apparently certain side quests might require certain spells. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find the right balance between story and side quest. I mean, we'll get these gobstones, which are uh, somewhere. Oh, did I unselect them? Whoops. Whoops. I'm still getting to grips with this map. It's... It's a little bit finicky. Right, and we've got... Oh yeah, we've got our first assignment with Professor Hecate as well. She's a badass. I can't wait to learn Incendio. Uh, we're gonna go do that later, but... Um, let me just check my quests again. Right. Gobstones. Okay, we're tracking that. Where is the next one? Up there. <clears throat> Apparently there's one nearby as well. Uh, I'm going to get some wand handles for this. So it probably is maybe maybe not super worth doing, but I want to do it anyway. Right, where are we going? Oh, there's a freaking thing. Oh, I missed it. There we go. And, uh... Yeah, we've pretty much... In order... Before we can actually progress the, the story with Fig, he wants us to learn more spells, doesn't he? Which is why we're having the uh, assignment. Right. Gobstone should be up this way. Have I been up this way before? I don't know. Oh, I don't think we have. Oh, look at this walkway. Oh. Dude. Just listening to the birds chipper away. Chipper? Tw tweet away. Ch ch I was trying to say cheap. And what? Anyway, uh, I love it. Right, there's got to be a gobstone up here. Oh, there's another mirror down here, too. Oh. Lumos. Right. That's in a room with green wallpaper and some paintings. And some steps. It probably is a good idea to have Lumos active, because uh, some of these areas are quite dark. Uh, in fact, I think this is it. I think this is the place. I think this is it. Oh, there's another door as well. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. Um, hello, found you. Levioso. No, wrong. Accio. Do I accio? How do I do this? Lumos. Lumos, there we go. Right, follow it. Yes, like moths moth to flame or light. Right, follow you back down here, mate. Or follow me, sorry. Did did he? Get you back to your mirror, to your frame. And page required. This is fun. This is fun. It's good. Alright, so 
Go all the way up here, through there. Although, I do wonder what's at the top of this tower. Check that out later. Let's do this door quickly. So we've got 13 and 3, 16. So we need uh, 6 for that one. Which is the salamander. No, it's not. Hang on. Wait a minute. Am I... Am I... That is... Th no, that's... Yeah, that is three. That is three plus 13, 16. Plus five is 21. Wait, am I doing... Oh, the salamander six. Salamander six. No, I want this. I want the crab thing. Okay, I'm an idiot. Don't worry about it. Yeah, sorry. My bad. My bad. Uh, and then 13. Uh, so one plus eight is nine. So we need a four, which is the owl thing again. Where's the other one? Where's the other turny thing? There it is. I don't even know if it is an owl. Tell, tell me what the heck that thing is. It looks like an owl to me, or a bird of some description. It's probably, it's probably a, f a feather, a feather gumph or something. Uh, and open. Uh, circular painting. And ooh, an embellished house cloak. That's just gonna look like. Uh, a regular one, isn't it? But it is better stats. And, uh, yeah, inventory does seem to be quite limited in this, so... It's probably gonna be a case of I have to progress the story, or hold off on exploring sometimes, because if I come across something that I can't really pick up, it's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. So I always want to make sure, before I do explore, that I have plenty of room, and yeah, we've only got two slots left, so I might be heading back to town to, um... Uh, sell some stuff. Right, six more offense. That looks pretty cool, actually. Quite like that. Uh, I'm going to take the uh, scarf off. There we go. <laughs> I still look ridiculous. I look ridi ridiculous. Is that a spell? I think that's a spell, isn't it? Right. Let's go grab some gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places yep. around the school. Cause there may be well, Already got it, mate. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Nice to see you, my young friend. This is a nice area. I like this. Right, where's the next one? Oh, we're back at the Grand Staircase. Which, uh, yeah, I guess just looked different back at this in this period of time. I keep on forgetting that this is set like 200 years before Harry Potter. So things might be different. They might have renovated the place. I don't know why they would, but they might have done. Same thing with the Witches and Wizards cards. Apparently they weren't even invented yet. So, uh, that would explain that. And here's another door! Right, uh, 2, 17. So we need a 6, that's a salamander. That's a salamander, isn't it? I think. No? Am I looking at the wrong one again? No, I was. I was looking at the wrong one. Uh, it's this one that needs to be the salamander. There we go. And... We want... So that's 9 plus 3. 12. So we want 7. Uh, 7, which is... That weird looking thing. I have no idea what that is. Like, how are you supposed to figure out that that was 7? Like, what is that? Is that... I don't even know what that... It looks like almost like a squid? It, it, or something with tentacles? Let me know what that is. But that should be open now. Wait. Ooh, this is a nice... Oh, I like this. I like this decoration. I want that for my bedroom. Uh, hippogriff statue. Ooh, sweet. And ornate ebony gloves. All right. Yeah, we're really, really running low on our inventory now. Uh, but again, that is better stuff, so equip that. 
Holy crap, plus 12 of offense. Dude, oh, they, they do look swish as well. Um, and yeah, I, I think if I destroy something, in fact, we had those robes that we weren't able to really sell for anything, were we? So let's destroy those and see what happens, because um, I feel like, yeah, we might as well. Uh, okay, so it just gets rid of them. So you don't even get any, like, materials or anything like that. Okay. Fair, fair, fair enough. Might as well get rid of that one as well. Okay. Okay. So that's one thing I might do off screen is just sell inventory and things like that. Right, but we found some good gear. And hopefully find the last few gobstones. This is actually... This spread out quite a lot. Also, it looks like it's very much night time now. Again, I wish there was like a clock. I wish I could actually tell exactly what time it was. Because it feels like maybe uh, late evening now or getting quite late-ish. Oh, we're we'll back up at the trophy room. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yoink! <laughs> I love that the suits of armor just like smack each other. Right, one left. Off on another adventure, are we? Where is it? Oh, is it telling me to go that? Was it this way? Oh, is it telling me to fast travel? Is it actually telling me to fast travel? There's not two here, is there? Let's check the map. Yeah, I wish I could tell what time it was. Um, also, apparently there's a... Yeah, you can actually... We can click the right stick in and wait. Wait here to advance time from day to night or night to day. So really, there's only two times of day that matter, whether or not it's day or night. Um, but it's cool that we can do at least. Uh... Right, yeah, this one is also very close by to me, by the looks of things. But I don't see it. Revelio. Also, yeah, there's a page like really close by somewhere, and I have What's no idea where it is. Now? It sounds. It sounds really close, but I. Is it above me? Is there a way of... Because there is a way of getting higher. Pretty sure. Because there's a door this way. But we can't open it yet. Oh, there's a page here. Centaur armor. This unique set of armor was created as a misguided peace offering to a centaur... Centaur leader. The gift was spurned by... Spurned and the messenger shot through the leg with an arrow. The armor itself, battered with hoof marks, was later recovered and refurbished. Now... Our, um... Our centaur, centaurs, I mean, there's good ones, isn't there? Like, in Harry Potter's time, what's the name of the, what's the name of the centaur? I don't remember, my Potter knowledge is so, so rusty. Yeah, there is, um, there is a way of getting higher. But, I can't do that just yet, so maybe, is it in this room? Is the gobstone in here? Oh, there it is. Found it. Akio. There we That's go. The last of gobstones. I should go and see her. Yeah, she's probably in bed by now, though, isn't you she? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Yeah, I could, yeah. We're all very proud of you. Uh, right, so... Where was she again? She wasn't... Uh... Where was she? Oh, around about there, I think. Yeah, so let's, uh... Go back to Professor Fig's classroom and just work our way from there. It's probably quicker. I imagine this game's probably going to take you quite a while if you never fast travel. 
Like if you like, you know, people do that with uh, like Oblivion and Skyrim, uh, where they never fast travel for uh, you know immersion. My immersion. Uh, I imagine you could do that with this game. Pretty cool. Uh, yep, down this way. She's probably in bed, so I'm probably gonna have to wait. This this might be one of my favorite areas of the castle. I just love. I mean, just sit on this couch, listen to some music. It's just beautiful. Again, though, it is weird that there's like we are just allowed to wander around at night time. Oh, she's still here. She's I still hope up. I've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. I got Hello, them all. Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Uh, no, I think I'll keep them. Can we actually do that? Oh. This, this is this is why I suck at playing bad guys because I always just you know I like Zenobia I like her and she's already she's already had it rough okay let let's be nice to Zenobia of course they are yours after all oh how wonderful I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you speaking of which now that I have all my gobstones back I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Uh, wonderful idea, terrible idea, wonderful idea. Although, this is kind of what got you in that predicament in the first place, so... Maybe just be careful who you decide to play. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, <laughs> which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. I like her, I like Zenobia. All right, ooh, got a cool-looking wand handle from that. Crap ton of XP, excellent, eh? Right. Um, so there's two more side quests, I think, around that we can do. Uh, one of them is cash in the in the castle. Arthur Plumley studying two treasure maps he had found. Uh, see if he needs help. And the Daedalian Keys. Uh, now again, I think what we'll do, we'll do our assignment first. Let's get Incendio, just in case we need that for anything coming up soon. We'll get that done and out of the way. Plus, I, I want to hang out with uh, the professor a bit more. She's She seems pretty cool. Right, which way are we going? Up there. See you, Zenobia. Ah, how do I actually get there? Oh, it's telling me to go back this way. Oh, right, okay. Got it. Yeah, I, I, if I didn't have this thing guiding me, I'd be so lost. I mean, obviously, it's the Dark Arts classroom. Yeah, that makes sense, but... Uh, luckily, she's still awake. Right. Uh, I believe you've got an assignment for me, Professor. Ah, I believe I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Mm -hmm. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Incendio! You know where to find me once you've finished. Okay, what do you want me to do? Win two rounds of crossed ones. Well, I've already done one. Oh, so she's she's aware of the of the dueling club, eh? Uh, she probably she's probably quite happy with that going on because obviously the practicing shit that she taught. Complete a round of spell combination practice with Luke and Brattleby. Spell combination practice with Luke and Brattleby. I have seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. No, it's not. <laughs> Which somehow makes me feel less bad about it. Uh, right. Well, I've 
I, I guess it's all to do with that dueling club then, so... And I would imagine this is the time of day, or night, night I should say, that most of it would be going on. So let's, um, let's fast travel over there. It's not too far away anyway. Uh, I was saying that, it's... It's a little bit far away. Ah, there we go. Clock Tower Courtyard. We've not actually been in the courtyard itself, though, have we? I don't think. I think the gate was closed, although... Actually... Yeah, we can go out here now. Hey! God, I... I I've spent a lot of time in this corridor in the other game. At corridor? Courtyard in the other games. Heck of a lot. Oh, crap! Oh, good. Okay, it opens. Okay, I'm not locked out. I mean, I could just fast travel anyway. Right, let's just get this done. Are we gonna wait till daytime? We are waiting till daytime. This seems so silly. Well, I suppose... If you're casting a bunch of loud spells at nighttime, people might hear it more? If they're... I don't know. I don't know how this works, but anyway. Uh... Apparently, I've got to practice spell combinations with you, Lucan. Um, may I use you? May I? Oh, I thought I was asking, may I use you as a training dummy? May I use the training dummy? Um, is the next round of crossed ones at all uh, all set? Let's go for that one. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Sure. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Oh, I get to choose. Um, do we bring Natty or do we bring Sebastian? I think we'll stick with Sebastian for this kind of stuff. I don't want to get Natty in trouble. I don't want to get Natty in trouble. She's, she's, I mean, her mum's a teacher anyway, so it might be best to uh, stick with Sebastian. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Oh, bring it, Ravenclaw. Apologies in advance. Hector Jenkins. Adept round. Oh no. I'm not very adept at this yet. Break through violet shields with four spells like the summoning charm Accio. Oh. Target lock. Yeah. So purple is for... Four spells. I was wondering if I was going to use Accio in this. Let me answer. No, not repair, oh, you big div. Must remember to, uh... Must remember to block. Yeah, get stuffed. Ooh! Alright, one, one down, one down. How much health have I got? Not left. Not, not left? Not much. Oh god! I'm getting absolutely rinsed here. Dude! Yeah, stupefy. I'm so violent! Look how... The ragdoll effects are great. Yeah, I I'm, I'm need to get better at this. Oh, nice. Can I just stab her with me wand? Alright, we won. That was not pretty, but we won. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. Or at least surviving the next round. Mm, yeah, I know I do. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Alright, so that's one objective done. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. All bloody gobstones. Right, that is done. Now I need to complete a round of spell combination. How do I do that? Also, I'm nearly level 11 now. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Alright, good. Ready I to have a try now? Really do need the practice. Also, don't mind the glasses. I know the creepy as shit. Uh, I am. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. 
I love how no one's commented on my uh, choice of attire. <laughs> no one said, excuse me, excuse me, Philip, you look like a right pillock. What are you wearing? Right. Okay. Oh, I did I not do it quick enough? Crap. Oh, nice. Okay. It does feel good. Sending them up in the air and just watching them, like, completely freak out because they're getting battered. I need to be- I need to be more experiment- Experimentive? Experimental. In, uh, in combat, right? Yeah, bring them close- closer in. Okay, cool. You looked good out there. Thanks. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. I just feel like I'm being taught by a two-year-old. <laughs> I, I know he's like a, all finished. He must be a first year. Uh, right, we've done we've done the assignment. We're level eleven. Did I check out these rooms? Oh, that's locked. Yeah. When did we learn Alohomora? We must we must learn that soon. Also, I do ask questions. Most, a lot of them are, like, rhetorical. Like, I don't want to be spoiled when I'm going to learn a certain spell, but um, if I ask things like, what's this creature called, then you can absolutely tell me. Uh, right, let's go back to the professor. Which, again, we might as well fast travel, because it is going to take a while otherwise. Uh, defense against the dark arts. Oh, wait, she's not even... Oh, of course, she's probably wandering around now, because it's... Uh, Daytime. I can't wait to learn Incendio. I've always said that travel broadens the These mind. um Oh she is in here. These uh the way that we're learning spells now is so different. Like if this was if this was the like one of the PS2 games or something, or PS1, it'd be like, right, to learn this spell you need to go through this really dangerous series of challenges through this little hole in the classroom. And, uh, and good luck, because, you know, there's lava down there and shit, and monsters. Um, no one else ever had to do that. It was only me. It was only Harry, and occasionally Ron and Hermione. I trust Rattleby was able to accommodate you, and that you found success in your endeavours. That lighting coming through the window does look pretty good. Except it's a little bit jittery. <laughs> I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle yeah, servant. Yeah, fire's dangerous. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember... Focus on the proper wand movement. Yeah, yeah. It, shouldn't there be... Isn't, isn't there like a water spell stay. or a fire extinguisher spell that they have on hand? Like, surely this fire shouldn't really be that big of a concern. Or maybe magic fire is more, like, potent. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, that was so difficult. Oh, we can burn stuff now! Yes! That uh, probably excites me a bit too much. Secrets of the restricted section. Right, we can now progress the actual story. You have learned enough spells that you'll need to equip Incendio to your spell set. Right, let's see how we do this. Oh, okay. So this shows all the spells we can learn. There's essential spells. Um, hold to assign. Um, we'll do that instead of Reparo for now. Or is that... Oh. Oh, hold it right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Right. Boom. Okay. So, now we can cast Incendio. And, yeah, it looks like there's, um... We've got Ancient Magic. We've been using that. Yep. Uh, basic cast is essential. Revelio is essential. Protego. Stupefy. Right, okay. 
So they're all, yeah, all the basic ones. And then we've got, what have we got here? Uh, dis disillusionment causes you to blend in with your surroundings, making it more difficult to... Uh, right, so that's got to be... That's got to be how we opened up those eye chests, right? It's got to be. Um, what else have we got? Uh, we, we do learn Wingardium Leviosa. So, yeah, that can actually levitate and move stuff, as opposed to just raising it up in the air. Gotcha. Um, conjuring... Conjures items into existence when cast within the Room of Requirement. Okay. Uh, same kind of thing. Yeah, so it looks like Transfiguration is more to do with that, the Room of Requirement, than anything else. It's a shame we can't, like, turn people into chickens. Um, oh my god, yeah, the unforbivable un curses <coughs> of Arda Kedavra. What's the other ones? Crucio uh, causes mo most enemies to writhe in pain as they take damage over time. Also curses the victim. And uh, Imperio temporarily forces enemies to fight as if they were your companion. Okay. Okay, I can't wait to learn those. I mean, again, I, I don't know why we're allowed to learn those in the lore, but maybe this maybe back then they just didn't give a shit. Maybe 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 the re the the events of this game are why they made those like unforgivable. I don't know. Anyway, uh, what else have we got? We got uh, Depulso repels many types of objects. Uh, Descendo deals no direct damage, but objects and enemies that are slammed into the ground will suffer considerable Im impact damage. So that's good for airborne enemies. There's Flipendo in this! Flips objects and enemies towards and backwards with its short cooldown. It's excellent for setting up uh, and extending juggles. Its ability to flip objects instantly is useful for solving puzzles and exploiting certain enemies' weaknesses. Oh my god, Flipendo's in this game. Yes, Philip. We've found your true... your, your signature move. Uh, and we've also got... Transformation. Oh, I... I can turn people into stuff. I can turn people into barrels. That can also be used for puzzles as well, apparently. Um, Glacius, okay, ice, yep. Uh, Arresto Momentum, slows objects and enemies. Cool. And what's these ones? Confringo, long range bolt that deals damage on impact. Okay. Uh, Dif Difindo, I remember that one. Slashes objects. Yeah, because we used to cut the um, tapestries with that. I remember that. That sounds like a painful one, though. Like, slashes objects and enemies from afar. Ouch. Uh, Expelliarmus. Disarms ones and weapons from most enemies. Uh, can even do damage. And Bombarda. Deals heavy damage and impact. Ooh, there's a lot of awesome spells here. Sweet. And challenge complete. New quest available. Right. So let's let's do a few more side quests. Uh, we've got to find Fig's book in the library. That's recommended level three. So we are way above the recommended level right now. And uh, depending if we do more side quests, we could be even more OP. Let's see. What else have we got? Um, let's go talk to Arthur Plumley. Let's go chat to him. Really cannot get over uh, how Rebecca. stupid these glasses look. Is there another page in here? Can I not get a page in here? Oh, is it? Oh, it's up there. Okay. Oh, come on. It's right there. Uh... Hebridean Black Skeleton. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the Dark Arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. I remember it well. So, what, actually, I'm not actually sure what year this is. I thought we were early 1800s, but no, I think we're, uh, we must be later than that, at least. Right. Arthur Plumley. Where is he? 
And what does he want? It's just a it's just an utter joy to walk around this this world. Can I do anything with those? Can I shoot those down? Perhaps you can help me. Uh, I'll be with you. Now. Oh, Arthur, you're from the you're from the common room. You're a Hufflepuff. You're the nerd. You're the freaking nerd. I remember you. I'll shoot these down. Can I just can I kill you? Oh, can I burn them? I mean that we should not be allowed to cast that. We should not be a cast like that. Oh, it's Natty! Oh shit! Hi, Natty. Sorry. Oh, if I knew it was your uh, paper swans, I wouldn't have done that. I'm so sorry. Oi. Can you help me? Don't oi me. Oi yourself. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought perhaps a fellow Hufflepuff might have the perseverance to join me in a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff scheme. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? I do, actually. This does sound very intriguing. Yes. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. It fascinates you me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Really? Sounds like a shit deal for you. Um, any idea where to start? Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. I've just been there. I've literally just been there. Okay, I'll have a look. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Okay. Arthur, you big nerd. Uh, okay, that looks like it's right near the, uh... The dragon thing. Okay. That looks outside, though. That looks like in a courtyard. And then, a like, a house. Right. I'll find the first landmark from Arthur's treasure map. So, it's, yeah, it's a bit of a... Bit of a treasure. Also, I don't know what... My camera's freezing occasionally. I thought I'd fix this ages ago. It's not done it in so long. I have no idea why my camera's suddenly, like, freaking out. Um, is there a chest up here? Wouldn't it be romantic to fly amongst the stars? Is there a page I just saw? Oh, there is. Boom. <laughs> oh, we got another door here. That's why. Uh, I should do it now, shouldn't I? But I don't have much inventory space. Uh, we'll come back and do this one later. Right, let's track the uh, the quest. Let's track the quest. Cash in the castle. Oh, find the first landmark. So it's not actually going to tell us exactly where to go, is it not? Or is it? No, it's... Okay, it, it is. It is. Yeah, so let's go back down to the classroom. I love me a treasure hunt, though. Do love me a good treasure hunt. My young friend. Thanks. Right. Uh, I mean, there's the dragon. Find the landmark on his treasure map. I wish I could um, bring that treasure map up a bit quicker. Uh. Revelio. Or is it not actually in the classroom, it's just near the classroom? Ah, it is, isn't it? It's one of those, yes. Yeah, 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 it's over here. Okay, big purple, right, gotcha. Yeah. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Okay. So I found one of them. Uh. Now where do I go? Can I check? Yeah, this is the problem. I wish I could check... Check things a bit quicker. Unless there is a shortcut that I just don't know. 
Um, is it telling me to go now? Down by the Transfiguration Courtyard. Okay, so it is kind of telling me where to go, roughly. I just need to find the exact spot. Hmm. Right. This thing? There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Okay. Oh, we got another side quest the right here. Keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? I don't know what they are. I'll sp I'll speak to you in a bit, Nelly. I'm a bit busy right now. Um oh hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me open. Aw. Can I not reach the owls? Damn it. Uh, third landmark. Well, it's around here somewhere. There's another locked door. God, there's just so much to... So many different places to go. Look at this classroom! Oh my god! Merlin! Merlin's beard! Revelio. I was gonna say, I bet there's some shit in here. Ah, probably something to do with Merlin. History of magic window. Oh, this is history of magic. Nice. I I do think I would enjoy studying that. Set of stained glass windows features Merlin, the four Ho the four Ho Hogwarts founders, and the various other witches and wizards of the ages. Sweet. So we got old Salazar, Helga, Rowena, and Godric, right? Oh, I think I just knocked over a bunch of books. That door's locked. Rebellion. There's something in that room, definitely. Oh, this is a cool classroom. Oh, I like this. There's a freaking ghost just chilling. Um, where was the last? Let's check the map again. Check the quest again, right. Where's this? Yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely in the right area. Open quest log. Can I not check the map from here? The actual thing he gave me, or do I have to go into my notes? Because it's a bit of a pain in the arse having to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go into my notes, aren't I? Which is not my owl post. Uh, inventory. Yeah, I wish there was a quick way of checking. Like, important quest items. Like, really, really quickly. Alright, that's the courtyard, and then... See, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit confused. I can't even zoom in. Like, is it, it must be, I must have to find that particular painting. That must, that must be in here somewhere. The stairwell looks promising. Oh. I literally had to move like two feet to the... <laughs> That's not it. That's not it. Where this is it? This looks like the portrait for Ah, up. there we go. And where's the treasure? I don't know. Let's Revelio. There's a treasure inside the painting. Or on the other side. How do I get to it? Oh, wait. Do I have to Accio that? No, Accio. Accio. Aha! Aha! Very oh, cool. There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. That's really, really awesome. That is so awesome. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Ooh. Well, that was a new uniform. That was a white robe. Uh, so we'll go back and chat to Arthur in a second. So that's just a... Is that another appearance thing we just got? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Authentic historian's uniform. Ooh! Oh, I like that. I do like that. Yeah, I think we'll be wearing that for a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to take. I'm gonna have to take the glasses off. <laughs> I can't. 
I can't, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. We're gonna, oh my god, when did I get a dark arts mask? When did I get that? Okay, we're definitely gonna wear that towards the end of the game when we're a badass. But for now, I'm gonna go back to my shades because they look swish. I'm gonna keep the hat on for a bit though. Right, let's go back and see Arthur. Oh, another one of these. Holy shit. Lumos. What's that? Okay, plant, big window. Plant, big window. Is it up here? Uh, I've not even been up here yet, anyway. That's locked. Revelio. That's going to be openable at some point, I'm sure. Oh, it's like a lecture theatre! Oh, I love this piece of music too! Oh my god! This might be my favourite room in the castle so far. Yeah, he's banging away on that drum. Is it the piano that's playing? Doesn't look like the piano's playing. Revelio. Did I just hear a frog then, by the way? Page down there. Oh! <laughs> what the shit? Why are there so many frogs? What is this? I could use that? Hang on. This will tell me what it is. What is that? Frog Choir. Here perched the slimy yet symphonic frogs that compromise the Hogwarts Frog Choir. These magical amphibians can sing in six-part harmony and hold a pitch better than most humans. Reminds me of Ocarina of Time. Let's, let's use it. <laughs> banging tune, mate. Banging tune. Right, I have... Whoa! Oh, it's under the eye chest. That scared the crap out of me. Lumos. Look at all these secret passages, man. Just found another good scarf. It's ridiculous how much there is to find. Actually ridiculous. Right, that's another five offense. Right, it looks very similar to that one, so I'm just gonna... Ah, oh, that is worth 90, though. I really do need to go sell some stuff. We will we will do that, probably, off-screen. Where's this going? Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Dude. You, if you didn't have a map, you'd get so freaking lost in this place. Right, where was I going? Trying to go back to Arthur. Oh, got another ghost. Hi. Um, where does this go again? That's locked. Oh, there's the big... Oh, the big three bells. I remember. Right. I think it's telling me to go this way. Through this door. Okay. Again, I probably could fast travel, but uh, let's just take in a few more of the sights. <laughs> uh, we're nearly here anyway, I think. Um, I will definitely try and find the other common rooms as well, though. We'll do that at some point. I'm sure we'll probably stumble across them. Freaking peeves out and about again. No one he would he he is about. I mean, I do find him funny only because I'm not in the world. Like if I knew that he might appear at any point and harass me, I'd have so much anxiety. I can't wait to fly my broom. I can't wait.
And I do wonder if I'm ever going to, like, memorize the layout of Hogwarts enough to where I don't need to follow this at any point. Probably not. Probably not. Right, well, he was here. Where's he buggered off to? Is it possible to be ah, there he is. Found right, I found... Yet? I did, also. Chest right here as well. Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. Oh, he shit. me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. I'm wearing it right oh, now. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Is that a hint that I should go there? Alright, well that was fun. I, I like me some treasure hunts. And if it's more excuse to explore this beautiful castle, I am all for it. Right, um, so there was that Nelly. Where was she again? Where was Nelly? Uh, I should just I should just press the touchpad. I don't know why I keep going into the menu to open the map. Right, she was yeah out in the Transfiguration corridor uh, courtyard. Venomous Valor. Uh, Duncan Hobhouse seems to have a puff skein problem. I wonder if I can help him out. Oh, oh dear, can't remember the puff skeins. Um, we'll do we'll we'll speak to Nelly first. We'll go. Go have a chat with her. And then we'll probably be uh, ending the video. Um, at, least, at least we've got Incendio now. I can't wait to use that on on a person. Yeah. Watch them burn real good. <clears throat> um, I mean, yeah. No, Incendio's cool. Right. Hello. Keys are back. What are they? Is everything alright? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Ooh. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Okay, okay. So kind of like uh, the keys in, in the Philosopher's Stone that were enchanted. Right? That kind of thing? Is that... Am I making the right connection there? I don't know. Uh, if you can manage to get the key into the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, why would the headmistress do such a thing? Yeah. So I'm wondering if that cabinet that we saw with the big lock on it is the one that she's on about. Because we've seen... I think we've seen at least two of those so far. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. Oh. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. <laughs> I thought they could go almost anywhere. Yeah, that's a point. That is a point. He doesn't need a key. He's a ghost. Um, why don't you follow the keys? Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. All right, but I'm keeping whatever I find, okay? Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. Perhaps. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. The way he's, the way he's examining her is like, what the fuck are you? <clears throat> anyway, right, Nelly, thanks. I will do that. I will try and find a Daedalian key in the astrology tower, which is over there. So we might as well, again, fast travel uh, to the astronomy wing. Uh, where do you think's probably... Oh, we've not actually been to the Astronomy Tower good and proper yet. Uh, so we'll go to the Charms Classroom and work our way up. I think that sounds like a good idea. 
Okay. So... Up we go! Yeah, we've not technically been up here, I guess. I thought we had been. But we'll out. Yeah! Give me that page. It's a nice painting, by the way. Nearly level 12. Revelio. Oh, we've been up to the di uh, divining class or whatever you would call it. Divination. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I love space. Space is so fascinating. I think I would enjoy a bit of uh, astronomy. Definitely. Also, is that nearly headless Nick? Are you, are you nearly headless Nick? Why have you got chains on you? Nah, your head's not tilting to the side. I don't know. I want to see nearly headless Nick. Rebellion. Oh, hello. Nearly missed you. What the heck's this all about? Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. Tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas, the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. <laughs> One can only imagine the impact on the arts he had succeeded. Oh my god. What a nutbag. Right, also, these look weird. All right, okay. Revelio. There's the thing. Handy right. Resource indeed, your field guide. Oh, this is a cool classroom. To be included. Oh, this is so cool. And this will be the cabinet. And also a note. Uh, my dear Satyava Satyavati, I'm probably saying that wrong, you'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contact at Cambridge, who conceded that they had in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. Seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer, both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer, all muggles, mind you, as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had, a con uh, had to continue using the pseudonym for, uh, for my days as a gentleman scholar. Uh, whilst I find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I am so looking forward to your trip uh, later this year to... J Janta Manta? What an adventure we'll have. I'll miss you, dear sister. Hope you're well. With love, Sutrita? Su 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 what's, a, what's a pseudonym, then? I bet it's someone famous. Oh, this music's straight from the film. It sounds like... It sounds straight from the film. Uh, yeah, telescopes. Rebellion. Cabinets. Are there really no pages in here? I'm shocked. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't imagine how You can't imagine! Aha! It is like the keys. I wonder where it might lead me. Da, da, da. Probably to that cabinet, I'm guessing. Yeah, there we go. There's the cabinet. How, How do, do I, I get this key? In? How do I do this? Is there a puzzle? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I, I didn't know that's what was going to happen. Right, I have to wait until it flies over the hole and then slap it in. Is that what I do? I feel really bad about this. Yes. Oh. All right, gotcha. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. I don't know. We'll go have a look. A house token. Right, we'll go do that. Um, we'll probably do that next time, actually, because it is uh, we're about an hour in now. So thank you for watching, everyone. Before I go, though, last time we got... Where are my beans? We got a very good bean. We got a blueberry one, which I was so pleased for. I was so pleased. Can we make it two for two? Can we make two in a row, two good beans? Let's hope so. Also, please like and subscribe uh, if you've enjoyed the video. And... Uh, Share the playthrough, because it is going towards a good cause. 
Um, and again, if, if it's a bean I think I've already had, I might swap it out. I, I think I already know what this one is. I think I already know what this one is. Okay, well, it could be one of two. Actually, it might not be so bad. It might not be so bad. I thought at first it was rotten egg, but it might be marshmallow. It could be marshmallow or banana. If this actually is rotten egg, I'm going to I'm gonna scream. Because it, it actually looks like it might be marshmallow. So, fingers crossed, guys. That's definitely marshmallow. Two good ones, guys. Two... Ooh, actually does taste quite nice. Bit of a... That really does taste like marshmallow. Holy crap. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yay, good beans. Good beans. Bye-bye for now.